What could possibly go wrong with managing an island amusement park full of giant, man-eating dinosaurs? <laughs> Lots of things, though in this case they're not the kind that lead to good gameplay. With so few interesting decisions and so much mundane busy work going on in Jurassic World Evolution, there is no need to, as Samuel L. Jackson once famously recommended, hold on to your butts. In this simple business sim, the idea is to build dino zoo parks across five samey looking tropical islands, plus a samey looking sandbox island. Jeff Goldblum lends his recognizable anywhere voice to some of the narration as Dr. Ian Malcolm, and he's clearly having a lot of fun with the pronunciation of the island's names. Isla Matanceros. Opposite him, I probably sound more like Chris Pratt than the guy they've got impersonating him here. I'm Owen Grady, Owen to my friends. But just like the park goers, we're here to see dinosaurs, and their detailed models and animations are the best thing about Jurassic World Evolution. The problem is, playing around with the 42 different species is hardly worth going through the painfully repetitive process of unlocking and improving their genomes. You have to go to the map screen and click on the dots, come back after the two minute timer expires to click the fossils and research them, and repeat dozens and dozens of times. Ugh, I'd rather scrub a fossil with a toothbrush. It's also a letdown that there are no flying or swimming dinosaurs in the mix. Without Pteranodons or a Mosasaurus, it's impossible to recreate the first Jurassic World movie, even on the sandbox island. Building your park is basic but mostly intuitive, and the road and fence tools work well enough. Power is the only resource you have to worry about, but you get the sense it's only there so they can have outages like in the movies. But the reason building is so dull is that most of the maps are tightly constrained, so there's not much room for creativity. And even when there is room, there aren't a ton of options to choose from to make a park feel like your own. There's a lot of downtime as you build because, bizarrely, there's no way to speed up time to skip long stretches of waiting for cash to roll in or dinosaurs to hatch. You can fill that time by taking direct control and cruising around in a jeep or helicopter, but there's not much to do outside of taking photos or tranquilizing dinosaurs for sport. There's never a must go faster moment because even the most ferocious looking dinosaurs just ignore you. And the fact that these park goers never pipe up to let you know when they're awed by a huge apatosaurus or grossed out by a velociraptor disemboweling something in front of them <laughs> makes the whole thing feel artificial. The challenge that eventually emerges in Jurassic World Evolution isn't managing the economy or hitting the simplistic mission goals that pop up, or even repairing random storm damage. It's jamming together as wide a variety of dinosaurs as possible without making them angry. Figuring that out on your own is a headache though because a lot of stats are hidden until you create a dinosaur, and if any one stat isn't satisfied, they'll break out and go on a rampage, potentially taking a bite out of your income with injury lawsuits. Oh, and sometimes that T-Rex who's been happily munching on goats for the past few hours will randomly decide he wants more trees in his pen and bust out with little warning. Any breakout can lead to a long and boring game of whack-a-mole as you knock them out and toss them back in their pen, only to have them break out again because you haven't caught all of their friends yet. And of course, you can have dinosaurs fight for your entertainment and to build up their combat infamy rating. But when the outcome is just a roll of the dice, you get situations like when my first $2 million T-Rex was immediately killed in its first tussle with a $600,000 Ceratosaurus. Even if you do have a winner, all your dinosaurs will eventually die of old age sooner than you'd expect anyway, so all the effort of setting up those fights doesn't feel worth it. Besides the fact that there's absolutely no evolution involved in it, Jurassic World Evolution is a bad game because it's just a bore of a park sim. Sure, the dinosaurs look nice enough, but the process of unlocking new species is beyond tedious, and actually running the business is shallow and quickly gets stale. It beats getting mauled by raptors, but after careful consideration, I've decided not to endorse this park. For more, check out 30 minutes of gameplay and look at how the T-Rex was made. Or better yet, watch our review of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. And for everything else, stick with IGN.